Our reading this morning is entitled, I Will Set a Watch Over My Lips. Our scripture reading is, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the doors of my lips. Psalm 141 verse 3 In the use of language, there is perhaps no error that old and young are more ready to pass over lightly in themselves than hasty, impatient speech. They think it is a sufficient excuse to plead, I was off my guard and did not really mean what I said. But God's word does not treat it lightly. The largest share of life's annoyances, its heartaches, its irritations, is due to uncontrolled temper. In one moment, by hasty, passionate, careless words, may be wrought evil that a whole lifetime's repentance cannot undo. Oh, the hearts that are broken, the friends estranged, the lives wrecked by the harsh, hasty words of those who might have brought help and healing. In his own strength, man cannot rule his spirit, but through Christ he may gain self-control. Uniform firmness and impassioned control are necessary to the discipline of every family. Say what you mean calmly, move with consideration, and carry out what you say without deviation. Never let a frown gather upon your brow or a harsh word escape your lips. God writes all these words in his books of records. Overwork sometimes causes a loss of self-control, but the Lord never compels hurried, complicated movements. Many gather to themselves burdens that the merciful Heavenly Father did not place on them. Duties he never designed them to perform chase one another widely. God desires us to realize that we do not glorify his name when we take so many burdens that we are overtasked and become heart weary and brain weary, chafe and fret and scold. We are to bear only the responsibilities that the Lord gives us, trusting in him and thus keeping our hearts pure, sweet and sympathetic. Taken from My Life Today, page 86. Dear Lord, we pray today that you will help us to set a watch over our lips and that our words will be helping and healing ones never to cause hurt or harm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.